Hey souls, Divine Soul here. You're welcome to the channel. If this is the first time stopping by, please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I see the likes, I see the subscribing, I see the comments, I see the sharing. You guys are doing way, 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 way too much and I feel so blessed to have you guys around, okay? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And I hope that these messages has been helping you, okay, so far. Uh, but trust that you are always in my prayer. I am always praying for all of you. Okay, so today is the 12 12 portal and I thought to come on here and share with you guys the message that the divine wants me to relate to you. Okay, so but this message is um, Should I say diversified in three ways? Okay, first is for those of you that you've been praying to God to get closer to God you've been praying to for God to um, reveal to you who you are. You've been praying to God to um, show you who he is, okay? And to be honest, I already said this, knowing God is knowing yourself. Knowing yourself is knowing God, okay? When you are waking to who you are, you've awakened to who God is, okay? God is not on the outside. God is not in the sky. God is within you. God energy is within you. When you tap into who you are within, when you allow, when you surrender to God, that's when God comes in and help, okay? And that scripture is coming through. Uh, when when the disciples asked Jesus, who are those that will make the kingdom of God? He said, or the kingdom of heaven, and he said, um, when you become like a child. So as children, you're inquisitive, you're adventurous. So be like a child, okay? Go with the flu. Um, just surrender to the will of God, okay? So for the first part, those of you that want to walk on this journey with God, where you want to know who you are, that's for the first part, okay? Um, that this message resonates with. Then for the second part of you, um if you're praying if you're seeking for love if you want to get married if this is what you're heading towards okay because i know not everybody is looking for love right now so for those of you that you know you need love you want to get married you want to be set you want to meet with your kingdom spouse this message also resonates with you then for the third party for those of you that want to live the soft life you 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 want god to upgrade you from poverty to wealth from rags to riches from nothing to something this message also resonates with you so as i dive into this message i need you to just just take the parts that resonate with you because I'm touching on different things at the moment. Okay, so take whatever resonates with you and then do with it however it fits your situation. Okay, so let me dive into the, this message. But before I even shuffle the maze, the cards, or before I even gone even did anything in regards to this message, the first thing I received was shut the door behind you. <laughs> okay, shut the door behind you. So <clears throat> I feel like yesterday eleventh was. Um, I just had the 11th uh, miracle. Anyways, I'm hearing that like yesterday was the end of a cycle because 1212 is a new beginning. This is a new portal. Many of you are moving into a new portal, new energy. So whenever you see this message, trust and best believe that you've already moved. I'm not saying you're about to. You've already moved, okay? So um, this version of you, okay, the reason why the divine is asking you to shut that door behind you because those are the things that no longer serves your highest purpose. Those are the things that no longer serves this new version. So the, the version of yourself that you're being asked to shut is the old version of yourself. Okay, so let me say it again to you. Shut the gate behind you. Shut the door behind you. <clears throat> the person that you were yesterday, the person that you were on the 10th of December, on the 11th of December, on the 9th of December, October, August, July, that person is gone, okay? And the reason why the divine wants you to shut that door, that gate behind you is because you also need to accept wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there. So when you accept and you agree that that door is closed, that door becomes closed forever. But if you're still looking at that door like, okay, let me go back and pick something up. Nope, there's nothing there anymore for you to take. Shut the door behind you. Shut the door of that friendship behind you. Shut the door of that connection behind you. Shut the door of that old mindset behind you shut the door of that negativity behind you shut that door because god has already opened a new door for you Ooh, i feel something in my spirit guys you guys don't even know i'm hearing morning glory thank you holy spirit i, I just heard morning glory you guys are in a new era you are in a new beginning you are in your first season and you're not meant to joke and this is who god i feel the holy spirit you're not meant to joke with this, this energy you're not meant to joke with this season this season is the pivotal season this season is the turning point of everything i'm telling you i'm not even looking at the book that i wrote this thing because i've received so many downloads and i had to write it down 
but I'm, I'm I'm just saying what I'm hearing right now. Okay, I heard that many of you, I heard 10%, and 10% is like, whoo, child, <laughs> 10% is a lot. 10% is a whole lot. So many of you are shifting portals. Many of you, you've moved into a new dimension. Many of you, you moved into your new season. I don't know if you can hear, you can hear the horns, okay, the, the, the horns, okay. Many of you, you've moved into a new season. Many of you, you've moved into your new beginnings. Many of you, you've moved into a fresh start. And I need you to start seeing yourself like that. The old version is gone. The person that you were on the 11th of December, 2023 is dead and gone. That version of you is gone, is dead, is gone. So that's why God is saying, shut that door behind you. Because if you still leave that door open, you're saying, I'm not ready for these blessings, God. If you still leave that door open, you're saying, God, I'm not ready for the blessing. Because sometimes we pray for something and we're not even ready to receive it. But as many of you that are ready to receive it, God is saying, shut that door behind you because you've already moved into a new season. And the reason why you're being asked to shut that door is because so that the things that held you back cannot come into this new season with you. So shut that door behind you, my God. So, um, you've moved into a different timeline, okay? Whatever you see henceforth, this is your manifestation. This is what you prayed for. Oh, God, I want to know you. Get ready. Oh, God, I want love in my life. Get ready. Oh, God, I want to upgrade in lifestyle. Get ready. This is happening. I'm telling you because you've already walked into that door and you cannot see it. Oh, my goodness, my buddy. <laughs> anyway, let me keep going. So if you've seen number 333, this is a sign that you are in alignment, your mind, your body, and your soul. You, It's in alignment. And that's why, because you are in alignment, that's why this blessing is coming to you. 111, this is a clear sign that you are in alignment with what is coming towards you. 1111, can you hear the on? 1111, this is a sign that what you prayed for is in. Ooh, child. So whatever that is being presented to you in this season, I need you to embrace it. I need you to welcome it and be thankful because a grateful heart bears blessing. Some of you, when you are in your new season, you'll be like, "Oh God, um, why am I not seeing the money? Oh, why am I not seeing?" Sometimes you need to understand that God is trying to teach you. God is trying to open your eyes to see things clearly. But because you are in the east, because you 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 are expecting your blessings to come in one way, and God wants to give to give it to you in a different way. So when God gives you the blessing the way He wants to give it to you, you are not quick to understand it or you don't see it clearly because you are expecting God to bless you in a certain way. Reason why I need you to move away, move your mindset from that limited mindset where you put God in a box. Don't put God in a box. Don't fix God where you want God to be. Allow God to fix you where he wants you to be. Because many times you say, oh God, I want you to bless me with um, love. And some of you, this season is God teaching you how to love yourself first. So I need you to be, to be, to be, to pay close attention to this moment in your life because you've moved. You've moved. You've moved. So there is no room for mistakes and there is no room for chances, for, for chances, for second chances. You cannot give people the same room that you gave them in the past. No way. Okay? So what you prayed for is coming in. <clears throat> what you prayed for is coming in. And let me tell you this experiences birth wisdom when you learn the lessons needed for your soul growth you grow you evolve and you increase in wisdom but you want you have to understand that wisdom the purpose for wisdom or the purpose for growth is wisdom you could be 26 years old or 30 years old i'm hearing 32 years old as well i'm hearing 46 years old okay let me keep going so if you prayed for love i need you to understand that you're about to receive that love. But you need to remember that love is not something that you seek on the outside. Love is within you. So if you love yourself, get ready to receive love. If you don't love yourself, get ready to, to heal and to learn how to love yourself first. That's the journey that you're moving into. So you, you could be saying, oh God, I want to get married. You might not even be ready for it. And God wants to prepare you. Some of it is your preparation, preparation season. And you have to be willing to go on this journey with God. Okay, so if you are seeking for love, you have to first love yourself before you can receive that love. And if you already have that love within yourself, get ready to receive the love that complements yours. All right. 
So this new season will teach you how to heal and love yourself if that's not what you have within yourself. So for those of you that you prayed for soft life, get ready to enjoy premium upgraded lifestyle. Like the universe is about to compensate you for a job well done. Okay, the universe wants you to pay attention to this season because the things that you prayed for has been granted. The things that you've been waiting on God for has been granted. And because I heard God is about to make it rain on those that have been patiently waiting on him while doing his work. The time is now for God's children. Okay, I also heard that when you move into this um, new phase, okay, for those of you that have accepted to shut this door behind you, once you shut this door and you walk into this new door, I am telling you guys that people will struggle to accept this version of you. But I need you to understand that you did the work. I need you to understand that you carried your cross alone. I need you to understand that you went through the dark times. And now that you've completed this cycle, God is about to bless you for staying true to the cause. And some of you, the cycle that you completed is letting go of old people, letting go of certain mindsets, letting go of certain beliefs, letting go of things that no longer serve you. That's the cycle that you completed. And that's what you need to understand that. For you to receive from God, you have to be willing to release. And for some of you or many of you, you already released something from the past. And that's why God has already ushered you into this new beginning. So uh, this new beginning that you're moving into is between you and God. Not you and man, but you and God. Okay? So um, for those of you that patiently waited on God, God is about to make it rain on you. On your finance, on your love life, on everything that concerns you. Okay, I also heard that your manifestation is attached to you and you don't even see it. Many of you are already living in the blessings that you prayed for, but you don't see it. Okay, some of you are not even aware that you're already living in your manifestation. The reason why the universe is asking you to pay close attention to this season whenever you see this message. God is about to open your spiritual eyes to see clearer the blessings that has been made provision for you. And also hear that scripture, now is the set time to favor Zion because you made God proud. Whoever I'm speaking to, you made God proud. By choosing to let go of things that no longer served you, you made God proud. By being obedient to God, you made God proud. So you are about to receive more than expected because you made a decision to surrender to the will of God. So God has given you a new life, a new season, a new identity and a wholesome lifestyle filled with abundance. And for those of you that your intention is to gain wisdom, you want to gain wisdom, wisdom, I need you to understand that to gain wisdom, you will be guided to the path of righteousness where you learn the satisfying truths about yourself, about God and about the world. Okay, so you will journey through the path of yourself you never knew existed. To gain wisdom is to know God, to know God is to be wise. The wise seek God, the foolish seek people. So for those of you that you know that you are seeking wisdom. I need you to understand that experiences will teach you wisdom. When experiences is being presented to you, how you deal with it determines how you grow. How you deal with it determines how wise you become. Because for you to understand that experiences are being presented to us to enable us grow and not because God wants to punish us or God is suffering us. God wants to awaken, awaken us to our true self. And so experiences will be presented to us to train our mind to test our inner strength so whatever it is that you go through in this journey like i said embrace it and be thankful for it because it is teaching you wisdom all right so for those of you that um you're about to receive love the message that i receive is that you sacrificed a lot you paid the price by letting go of people by, by, by letting go of things that were holding you back from receiving this so get ready to to um you know receive this love okay because you faced your fears you did impossible so be grateful, appreciate your growth and be grateful for how far you've come. It's not easy letting go of people. It's not easy letting go of friendship. It's not easy letting go of people that we love. But that's the sacrifice that you have to pay to be on this journey, to receive the blessing from God. If God says, let's go of this person, you owe it to yourself to do it because you know that listening to God, obeying God, it comes with a price. And whoever I'm speaking to, you've sacrificed and that's why God's about to give you this love. Okay, that's why God's about to give you give, give to you this luxurious lifestyle, this upgraded lifestyle, this soft life. All right. So um it's crazy because 
many people don't want to pay the price but they want to reap the benefits many people don't want to let go of that version of themselves but they want to enjoy the new version of themselves and it doesn't work that way so when you let go of the old version of yourself you make room for the new version of yourself so but whoever this message resonates with you are in a new beginning you are a new being many of you are about to be matched with people that has done same work as well as you so mates so i need you to understand that before you get to your destiny you will have to first release your burden the things holding you back so that you can hit the jackpot some of you are already in your destination and you don't even realize it you are exactly where you are meant to be you are on a different timeline you've moved you've shifted portal the moment you slept the moment you closed your eyes on the 11th and you woke up in, on the 12th i'm telling you you've, shift, you you've shifted portal you've shifted portal okay so you could have come across the number 888 this is your sign god is about to fill your cup everything you lost is about to be restored in manifold Okay, and there will be people in regret because they missed out on this opportunity to be part of your blessings. But you have to understand that everybody cannot go with you. You have to be fine with it. And that is the purpose of Psalm 23 verse 5. The purpose of Psalm 23 verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Who are your enemies? The people that laughed at you when you were trusting God. The people that laughed at you when you were believing God. The people that laughed at you when you were patiently waiting on God. These people are your enemies. So they are now in regret. And they will be forced to watch you receive the blessings that God is about to shower you with. They will be broken in pieces because they missed out on it. But like I said, everybody cannot go with you. You had to sacrifice. You had to let you, you had to let go of people because the reason why God had to remove these people from your life because God knew that if these people were part of this new version, they would mess it up. They would ruin it for you. And that's not what God wants. Okay? You need to understand that people need to learn on their own. People need to grow on their own. People need to, you know, see things differently without you being in the picture. And you have to be fine with that. So for those of you that are seeking for wisdom, let me say let me say this to you. The purpose of wisdom is not to show off. The purpose of wisdom is not to keep it to yourself. Okay, I know I have so much wisdom. That's not the purpose. If you're seeking wisdom because you just want to know it and not share, that's not the purpose. The purpose, the sole purpose of wisdom is to share with people, to pass it down to others for generations to come. Okay? So whatever this thing that is about to come to you, whatever life that you've moved into, I'm telling you, like anybody trying to harm you, anybody trying to stop you, they are they they already they are hurting themselves already because you are highly protected. This is your season to invest all that you've planted over the years. This is your season to reap all that you've sown. So whatever you've been sowing since, this is the season of reaping. If you if you had a dream, okay, I'm being led to say this. If you had a dream where you were dancing or you were celebrating or people were celebrating with you or you received an award or you received a certificate, this is a sign of victory. This is a sign of completion of a phase. Okay, you could have come across number 818. This is a sign as well. Also, I heard things are unfolding. Things are unfolding. For many of you, you've been fighting your whole life. You've been trying to survive. You've been you've been surviving all, all your life. You've been fighting for so long. So get ready because God has already moved you to a season where you are meant to be relaxed and be taken care of by God. Get in your best position. Dance if you have to dance. Sing if you have to sing. Shout if you have to shout. Because you're already in your season. Okay, um, you could have come across the number 777. This is another sign that you are exactly where you are meant to be. Do not struggle to open any door. It is already happening. It is already happening behind the scenes. So for, some, for those of you that are seeking wisdom, right, I need you to get acquainted with wisdom. Let wisdom be your lover. Let wisdom be your best friend. Let wisdom be... Um, romanticize with wisdom that's what i'm getting okay get acquainted with wisdom all right 
so um moving on also i heard keep it to yourself not the wisdom but the blessings the things that god has already shown you the things that you've already seen you know that something is about to happen the divine is saying keep it to yourself don't share to people don't tell anybody don't let anybody know what is happening don't let anybody know who is coming towards you the love that is happening don't let anybody know keep it to yourself and they also want me to tell you to pay close attention to the angel numbers that you see so if you've come across the number 111 11 11 2 2 2 2 1 2 4 4 4 this is your sign 5 5 5 this is your sign okay and let me also say this right people will witness your transformation and they will be shocked like people will start seeing you and they'll be so shocked like wait is this the same person that we knew is this is this jessica or is this amanda <laughs> okay people will be so shocked that you you've transformed i'm being led to tell you this for those of you that are seeking for wisdom trust the process in gaining wisdom it is a process it is a process don't rush allow the experiences allow the journey teach you wisdom okay that's why it's been presented to you okay also i heard you are the channel in which the divine is bringing your manifestation to fruition for those of you that have been chosen by God, I need you to, to hear this clearly, okay? Whatsoever that God is about to bless you with, whatsoever that God is about to give to you in this season, this is for the advancement of, advancement of the kingdom of God, okay? This money, this whatever it is that is coming towards you, this is the purpose for it is for the advancement of the kingdom of God. I'm not saying don't spend it on yourself. It is okay to spend on yourself, look good, but spend wisely, okay, and keep to the promises, okay? So when this thing comes, you know the promises you already told God, God, when this money comes or when this thing comes, I'll build a church or I'll build an orphanage, I'll build this for humanity, I'll do this for humanity. When that, when it comes, I need you to keep to it because that's where God wants to give it to you. Don't forget your promises. Don't forget your promises. Don't bite the fingers that fed you. Don't turn don't turn on God when these blessings come. Okay? Don't say, oh, now this person is here. Let me do this. Let me do that. No, don't turn on God. Like, keep to your promises. If you, pro if you promise God that, okay, God, when this money comes, I will pay so, 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 and so tight in the church. I will give so, so, and so to the orphanage. I will do this for the, of, for the community. I will do that for the community. I will buy this for the advancements of the kingdom. I will do this to add more to advance your kingdom. I will, um, if, if this is like writing a book, I will write the book and print it out for people to read. Whatsoever it is that you've promised God in regards to this blessing that god is about to give to you i need you to keep to it because the reason why god wants to give it to you is because god knows that you will deliver but keep to your promise because the reason why you're about to receive this blessing is because so that you can advance the kingdom of god all right so for those of you i'm coming back to those of you that you know wants to gain wisdom because i feel like many of you you are moving into season where you have to start learning about yourself so it's coming heavily in regards to wisdom so for you for those of you that wants to gain wisdom you have to pay attention to the journey and the experiences that will be presented to you that's why i said this is a very pivotal season this is a moment where you have to pay close attention to the things happening around you when situations that you don't understand come to you when you are being presented with things that you don't understand that may be way beyond you i need you to ask god seek god ask god what is this trying to teach me what am i supposed to learn from this experience don't say oh the devil is trying to harm me the devil is trying to stop stop me no some of you are not meant to have money now i have to be honest with you some of you are not meant to have finance now some of you are meant to learn before that finance can come okay so whatever that is being presented to you in this season some of you are not even meant to be in a relationship at the moment many of you you're not meant to be in a um intimate relationship you're meant to have a connection with god first with yourself before you can have that so i feel like no i feel like the divine wants me to say this to you, okay, to make it clear that many of you are moving into a season of preparation, okay, and for others of you, you are about to receive the things that you've been prepared for because many of you have done the work and for those that are about to do the work, this is your season of preparation, so get ready and trust that whatsoever that's been presented to you in this season is to advance you is to help you gain wisdom clarity in regards to your journey all right so you could have come across the number 10 10 this is a clear sign that you and god you're about to go on a journey and i need you to embrace this moment love this moment and be grateful for the moment okay
Also, I heard that in 2024, many of you, you will be in your star energy, which means that you will be in your, there will be lots of attention on you. There will be lots of people will notice you. People will see you in 2024. Like you'll be recognized by people. And that's the crown that God has placed on your head. And the reason why God gave you this crown is because of the journey, because of the things that you went through, because of the dark times, because of the bad times, because you were patient, because you trusted, because you believed. God has already placed the crown on your head, but in 2024, God will make your face known to the world. God will showcase you to the world. God will use you as a vessel to show to the world that this is my child. This is someone that went through something, okay? So many of you that did the work, get ready for this season, okay? 2024 is about to be... Um, I'm hearing that you're moving into a blessed season in 2024 where everything you've ever needed, asked for, will be made provision for. You will have many options to choose from, okay? Let's say right now you don't even have any options, okay? You, you don't have options to choose from. But in your, your next season, I'm, I'm getting like if this is in case of traveling, you might you have options to travel. Like, oh, well, today I want to travel to Dubai. Tomorrow I'll be traveling to um, Belgium. The next day I'll be traveling to this or you know it's like you have so many options like i'm seeing traveling okay i'm seeing traveling i'm seeing good life you know happy moment I, I see people in groups like laughing eating together that's what i'm seeing okay but you have so many things will be presented to you, you just have to choose pick what do you want? Okay, this is God asking you, what do you want? And the song that I received in regards to this is, you can have what, whatever you like. Hey, you can have what, whatever you like. I think it's by T.I. So that's the song that came through when I received that message, okay? Many of you are about to be placed in season where you have so much that you will just be giving away to people. You'll be giving so much to people, okay? If you don't have now, trust me, 2024, I'm hearing 2024, I'm hearing 2026 as well. It's about to be a year where you will, you will see the hand of God in your life. Anyways, moving on. Anybody trying to stop this blessing has already, has already been dealt with, okay? I was being shown like they are holding like arrows so anybody coming towards you to to take that blessing from you they just use the arrow and they strike that person down so your ancestors your angels they are protecting your blessings aggressively i'm, I'm not i'm not playing okay for those of you that love okay being in a relationship getting married is what you're looking for or that's what you're anticipating in this season this is the message from the divine you are about to experience real and pure love this new love looks nothing like the past Okay, and I'm also I'm hearing that these blessings that is about to be presented to you, you are meant to share these blessings with people, with God's people, the right people will be placed in your path. Okay, this is for the purpose of supporting humanity. If there's someone that says, okay, I want to build a church, you can support them. Um, someone that says, okay, I want to do something for the kingdom of God, you are meant to support them with that money. Um, it's just more about supporting God's people, okay, supporting the kingdom, okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting in regards to this message. So, if you've come across a deer, this is telling you to be gentle, to be kind on yourself and to others. And also, this is a sensitive season, so you cannot mess around, okay? I'm getting like, you cannot go back to what you left. Don't go back to what you left off, okay? That's a distraction. So, if you've come across cheetah, is that what they call it, cheetah? This is a sign that something's about to happen so fast something's happened is that is about to happen so fast uh, i'm hearing your life is about to turn around so fast but if you've come across a dove this is the sign that the holy spirit will lead you and enlighten you while on this path okay also they want me to say this right so that you'll be aware not to scare you but so you're aware because no harm can come to you but you will have people jealous of you when you receive this blessing when this blessing comes to you and it's normal you have to be okay with that because when God blesses you to attract enemies, when God blesses you, it will attract haters. So you have to be okay with that, okay? But don't concern yourself with that, all right? But um, this is why the divine is saying, keep your mouth shut. Be silent. Don't let people on your business. Don't tell people what's going on around you. Don't let people know, okay, oh, I'm about to get married. Oh, um, I'm about to receive money. Oh, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. I don't care if this is your mother, your father, your family members. Keep your mouth shut. 
until you receive these blessings okay because if you go ahead to say something you might ruin it all right so um that's the message i have for you guys this message is quite lengthy but i just have to put this message out so for those of you that are seeking for love soft life wisdom trust that you are already where you are meant to be more most importantly pay close attention to this season to what's happening around you and trust that god has already positioned you you are in the right place at the right time okay so that's the message i have for you guys and i hope that this message gives you peace and clarity till next time divine blessings